This class we discuss about the application of Thevenin's theorem in fault calculations. The statement of Thevenin's theorem is any linear bilateral with active network with the terminals AB can be replaced by a simple equivalent circuit with a single voltage source V0 in series with a single impedance Z Thevenin's about the terminals AB as in figure 2. Here V0 is the open circuit voltage at the terminals AB. Z Thevenin's is the driving point impedance of the network AB when all the sources are replaced by the internal impedance. Now we will work out one problem. A synchronous generator is unloaded, is connected to a 11 kV bar 132 kV transformer. The rating of the generator is 50 MBA. The subtraction reactance is J.12 per unit. The reactance of the transformer is J.1 per unit. The rating of the transformer is 50 MBA. The XT double dash of the generator is 0.12 per unit on a 50 MBA base. Transformer reactance 0.1 per unit on a 50 MBA base. The singleness generator is unloaded when a symmetrical fault is occurs at point A. Find the subtraction symmetrical fault current. Actual fault current in the 11 kV side and 132 kV side of the transformer. That is the question. First step, you choose base MEA. Base MEA is equal to 50. Base KV is equal to 11. Next step, I have to calculate the per unit reactance of the generator and per unit reactance of the transformer. So, per unit reactance of the generator is equal to actual reactance, J.12 into actual by base. Actual is 50, base is 50. Therefore, reactance of the generator is J.12. Similarly, reactance of the transformer is J.1 into 50 by 50 that is equal to J.1. Now I have to draw the reactance diagram. This is the reactance diagram. The voltage of the generator is 1 and 0. The reactance of the gen generator is J.12. Reactance of the transformer is J.1. Next step I have to draw the Thevenin's equivalent circuit. Here this uh, Thevenin's voltage is 1 and 0. Thevenin's impedance is J.1 plus J.12 that is equal to J.22. Now I can easily calculate the fault current. E Thevenin's divided by Z Thevenin's. E is equal to 1 angle 0. Z Thevenin's equal to J.22 that is equal to 4.55 angle minus 90 degree per unit. The next step I, I can calculate actual current in the 11 kV side. Actual current in the 132 kV side. Actual current in the 11 kV side is equal to MBA base divided by root 3 into kV base into 1000. So 50 by root 3 into 11 into 1000 that is equal to 2624.32 amps. Similarly in the 132 kV side actual current is 50 by root 3 into 132 into 1000 that is equal to 218.69 amps. I know the fault current. And I know the actual current in the 11 kV side, actual current in the 132 kV side. I can easily calculate the actual fault current in the 11 kV side, actual fault current in the 132 kV side. Actual fault current in the 11 kV side is equal to fault current into actual current in the 11 kV side. Fault current is 4.55 angle minus 90 degree. Actual current in the 11 kV side is 2624.32 amps. Therefore, actual fault current in the 11 kV side is 11940.66 angle minus 90 degree in amps. Similarly, 132 kV side, fault current into actual current in 132 kV side, fault current is 4.55 angle minus 90 degree into actual current in the 132 kV side is 218.69. Therefore, actual fault current in the 132 kV side is 995.04 angle minus 90 degree amps. Thanks for listening.